So here at Bill Greaves, Bill, thank you for joining me. So I just want to talk a little bit about diatitis and you, it's something that you've, you've struggled with before. Mm -hmm. um, at what point did you get diatitis or did you feel like something's not quite right here with my throw? Yeah, I was just playing um, in a, a normal match at one of the women's series when it first started and then I got put on the stream and before I even got to the stream, I was dreading it. Like I didn't didn't want to be there, didn't want to be in the room. I just wanted to go home. And then I got on there. I think I lost four nil. And then I came off and I said to my dad, I was like, something ain't right here. Anyway, went back, went back home, finished the day off, and then um, practicing one day. And I literally just stuttered. And then it lit, that one stutter went into over a year of just pure pain, <laughs> basically. And uh, yeah, just. Um, yeah, not a very good time for me. Is it something that concerns you moving forward that it it might become worse, or are you are you, are you comfortable with it now that yes, you've got it, you can deal with it, and whatever happens, you can just sort of move through whatever obstacles it it has. Yeah, it's one of them. I think when I first got it, I sort of I think there's like just different types of it. Do you know, mine a lot of it nowadays is is. Um, like approaching the hockey, it's not. I ain't got a problem letting my darts go. Um, it's not in my arm; it's all in my head. So when I start to feel that feeling, I just I know when I get up there, and that's what causes me to not throw them or get a bit hesitant and stuff. So it's sort of it's weird, you know. Sometimes I was absolutely fine, and then other times I I, I can't let them go at all. It's really weird. Even this year, I've struggled with it. I had a really bad patch at the start of the year, and but then. I sort of just went home and had to just do what I do to get over it the first time and it goes away again. But I've, I'll never say I've got rid of it completely because I haven't. I'm talking about you now and your career. How did you first get into darts? Yeah, so my brother played, my dad played, my family, all my family's played really, but um, I was sort of never a girly girl, never really went out much, was inside. And he was just practicing one day and I just went in there and I used to mark for him a few games and then I just started playing and uh, yeah, I can't even remember really, it literally just went really quick. Before I knew it, I was playing in my first final on stages and that and yeah, I absolutely loved it. I was, yeah, been at best times of my life has been through darts to be fair and um, yeah, it's just literally went from being 10 to 19 now, sat here a world champion so um yeah, I'm not not complaining. It's, you mentioned that World Championship. I remember I watched a, a video when you was 11 years old where mm. you said, one day, I want to be World Champion. Yeah. What was it like on that Lakeside stage when you mm. hit that winning double and you was able to lift that trophy? Yeah, it was uh, it was crazy. Do you know, it is, that is literally what everyone wants to win. I know, um, like the big one. And then, um, to be fair, when I qualified for it, I was struggling. I, I was I was meant to be in Lakeside in in the January, but it got postponed. And in the January time, I was struggling really bad with my me, me diet. And then by the time I got to play it in April, it had stopped really, and it had gone. Um, so I so said, when I won that, it was just like it was mad, and it gave me a load of confidence. And yeah, it just completely changed my life, really. So you've you've won the world championship now. You've also won the world match play. I think it's easy to forget that with all that you've won, you're only 19 years old. So do you have certain things that you want to do in your career still? Have you got certain check marks that, yes, I want to do this, I want to do this, I want to play here? I'd like to be a, a, a multiple world champion. Do you know when I won Lakeside, that was like my big thing ticked off. But um, you know, it never stops there. You've always, I think anyone in life always wants more and I don't, I'll never be set over just what I've got. I'll always... Well, I've, I said in another interview I'd, I'd uh, love to hit a nine data, you know, in a game proper, um, which I think I will at some point. But it, that's my only goal at the minute, really. I don't really think about winning out because at the minute there's no else to win, really. You know, when I won the match play, that was quite big uh, for me. I wanted to to win that and be um, alongside Fallon with um, one each now. and. Um, but other than that, I think I'm just sort of waiting for any opportunities to come around. You know, just got to wait for stuff. Can't can't rush out. And with, with the women's series being introduced a couple of years ago now, what do you think that's done for the women's game in darts? Yeah, it's massive. You know, that sort of money, like on every other month or every month, is is absolutely huge. Do you know, like 
you can't really, unless you've got sponsors that will help you out and stuff, you can't really do darts full time because there's not, there's not enough on really. So that when that came in, that was massive. And obviously to be able to qualify for stuff like the match play and the Grand Slam, the men's world, it's, like, it's, it's really big, do you know what I mean? It's great. And I, I think the standard has to get a bit better, but um, yeah, it's just about waiting and putting enough money in it and support and us ladies going to the comps, you know, making sure the entries are there. But um, yeah, I absolutely love them and I'm, I'd, if they went away, I'd probably be a bit sad about it. I think one thing that I certainly want to know and I know that a lot of people have been wondering for a long time is will we see Bill Graves at Q School in 2024? Uh, no, probably not. Um, and I don't, I don't see why I'd want to, you know, that, that sort of standard on the Pro Tour, because I'm, I'm good enough to get through Q School, I know that. But um, the Pro Tour's a whole different game in it, you know, the standard on there's hard, and I think we're, that's what is different with the ladies, the standard's not always up to scratch, you know, it's not always great, you get them poor games, myself included, we all do it, and you can't, you can't be doing that on Pro Tour, and I think it'd sort of just crucify me in, the, in a bad way, so I think for now I'll just stick to what I'm playing in, and um, yeah, maybe at some point. Brilliant, Bill, thank you for taking the time to talk to me. Thanks thank a lot, you. no worries.